I am sick and tired of anime losers, specifically main characters that fumble the bag. I've personally had enough and I can't continue to watch anime like this. And I'm sure that you're the exact same way. If the main protagonist is fumbling the bag all over the place, then you don't wanna watch it. And I have specific examples I'm gonna show you in this video. But before I start hating, if you do like this video, go ahead and show some love to it. I promise I'm not a negative Nancy, but this video right here, it's got me heated. Now let's get straight to the point. Having a loser protagonist sucks. And please note that there is a difference between a loser and being unsuccessful. An unsuccessful character at least tries to be good at their art. I'm talking about an MC that's pretty weak inside their universe. A character that doesn't have a lot going for them or maybe they just pulled a bad hand. This is considered being just unsuccessful or you just have lack of talent. But the good news is that character at least wants to work hard to do better for themselves and others. But guess what, we're not talking about those characters. I'm talking about a true, disgusting, degenerate loser. A character that has no business being a part of their universe whatsoever. That's what I'm talking about. Those disgusting, low, pitiful, atrocious. But you may be wondering how did this start and where did Bruh. this come from? Well, you see, I had a friend that asked me to go watch my teen romantic comedy. A little bit of an older show that maybe you've seen it, maybe you have not. And as the name suggests, it's about comedy and romance. The show currently has a couple seasons and it's currently done for the time being. It may not get another. But you know, I had the time. Why would I not sit down, pop some corn and get rolling? So of course I did so and I realized I won't ever be getting recommendations from him again. This show is trash and it's not the plot or the animation. Really the show's not bad at all. What makes the show unbearable is this weenie here. Hajime or Hajiman, however you say his name, is a weenie. He's one of those guys that has to feel like he one up you with his brain. The problem is this is not Death Note where it's life or death. So he's really just outsmarting high schoolers the whole time and they don't have much of a brain to begin with. But that's not where the pain starts. The pain starts from these two girls right here. As you can assume, the love interest of Hajime. You see, the male character does not show much affection for anyone whatsoever. And honestly, the girl who wins doesn't either. However, we do see multiple times that the female protagonist, Yu, does show a lot of interest towards him. But what does she get in return? A fat, solid L. Having the main weenie character run away from her while she's crying in a corner. Do you know how annoying that is? To watch a failure like this fumble the bag so hard. I mean, she felt so bad, she was over here looking at pictures of the winner. And we all know damn well that he shouldn't have gotten anyone. The worst part about this show is she just ends up lonely. She just has to accept the fact that she caught an L and that's it. Nah, man, Snafu, this ain't it. Mm -mm. But please, don't worry, I have a better example for you. You ever heard of the show called Two Love Rue? Yeah, you know that show that's the grandfather of harems? I mean, this show feels like it kind of started it all. And really, if you were in the main character's point of view, you um would. But alas, most of these are young teenagers so we can't talk about that. But what we can talk about is this turd here. Rito is the male protagonist of Two Love Rue and he is a true piece of trash. You see, even though this young man is in high school, he has so much going for him. Since Rito lives in a world where every girl should fall in his lap, you think he should win, even if he falls into their lap. But no, he does not. Rito is a true loser that doesn't want to take a chance on anything, even if it's directly in front of him. At the beginning of the show, we do see Rito try to tell his crush that he likes her, but Truck Coon decided, no, you're not getting that, and after that, it was over. And it's hard to watch Rito fail time and time again, especially because girls are floundering over him. And if you have not seen this show, you you don't know the chances he's had. Rito's basically forced to be engaged to an alien and he doesn't want that. The alien sister is trying to set him up with any girl he wants and he doesn't want that. Even when he's turned into a girl and girls want him, he still can't pull. It's hard to watch, man. He has a pick of the litter and he doesn't care about anything there. And plus, this is a harem show, so he will get the opportunity to fall into someone's personal space. The issue is, even if they want him in their personal space, he doesn't want to be there. Rito is a true loser and the three seasons of Two Love Rue is hard to watch because of him. Honestly, if it was any other male in the show that's not a weenie, I feel like it would be completely different. And even though I thought this was the peak of pain, I found something even worse. This character we're about to talk about is a true swine ball, a disgusting main character that can still top Rito and Hajime. And all I gotta do is show you his worthless face. Kazuya, not Kazuya, Kazuya is trash. I'll put this on 
everything. This is the worst main protagonist you'll ever see. Now my hate for this character is absolute and there's not a thing you can say to change my mind. Kazuya is the main protagonist for the show Rent a Girlfriend. And as you can assume by the name, you can literally rent a girlfriend. Now let's not cap fellas, if you're paying for a girlfriend that's not gonna be your real girlfriend after the date, you're Oof. pathetic. And I'm not trying to say that just to be mean, it's common sense. She's honestly with you for the bag, not you. And the main character Kazuya knows this. While knowing this, he's still willing to rent different girls including the same girl multiple times. But it doesn't stop there. You see, this man is an issue, and of course, my hate for him starts here. But trust me, it gets much, much worse. Like a general harem protagonist, he does have a chance to get with these girls. In fact, we find out that some of these girls indeed do like him. But it doesn't matter because Kazuya's way of getting girls is pitiful. You see, Kazuya plays a tactic of you should date me because you should feel bad. And that right there is enough for you to hate him too. Trying to get something out out of self-pity is just disgusting, especially when you're asking for someone else's love. But Kazuya himself has a chance to have two different girls that are very interested in him. Matter of fact, one of them is his girlfriend, but it really doesn't matter because Kazuya wants one specific girl. And this one specific girl, he wants her to feel bad for him. And I mean, it's just sad. He's even willing to imagine other guys with said girl. And I really shouldn't say said girl because he does it with multiple different girls he talks to. The dude is even willing to set up a fake date for one of his friends and he likes it. And by the phrase like it, I mean he wished something happened between those two so he could watch. It's even worse because he paid. I simply can't get over this and it really hurts. If you want to see a true anime loser, watch Rent a Girlfriend. I have never seen someone just so, I don't know. Now I'm sure you can think about a lot of other anime losers that I did not even mention. So let me know in the comments down below who grinds your gears the most. Thank y'all for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.